Sheriff's officials. It's a story the 7 Action News investigators exposed last week. And today, that topic took center stage at the Wayne County Commission meeting. And as investigator Ross Jones reports, officials are furious. Everybody, it seems like, that works for the Sheriff's Department is driving a car home. Uh, even if they work in an office all day, it's troubling to see these reports on the news media uh, and, and us not trying to address them as commissioners. Commissioner Ray Basham was watching 7 Action News last week, and he wasn't the only one. Auditors from the county commission were taking notes, too, and their report today probing the use of county gas cards and take-home vehicles was blunt. It sounds like it's chaotic. I mean, that's the impression that I'm getting by listening to your responses to the questions. The audit documented what we first reported, that some administrators and employees who largely work in an office have been billing the county for hundreds of dollars a month in fuel charges. In one month, lawyer James Spivey billed the county for more than $600 in gas alone. In their report, auditors questioned why nine officials that do administrative work were averaging between two and $800 a month in gas. The 33-page report said the department failed to implement necessary safeguards, too, like requiring monthly usage reports and maintaining organized receipts. In some cases, officials failed to show why employees needed a gas card and vehicle in the first place. All those shortcomings, the audit concludes, substantially increases the risk that fraud or abuse could occur and go undetected. By and large, we agree with what's in the, in the audit. We have deficiencies. We recognize it, and we've put some things in place, at least we're organizing to put some things in place to address these. Administration yeah. Director Sue Hall took most of the heat today for Sheriff Napoleon, who was not at today's meeting. But she said her department knows where each of its take-home vehicles is at any given time. But moments later, she and another official were confused about just how many take-home vehicles there are, either 58 or 84. My list right here says take-home vehicles is 58. So I want to not stay on the record. It's, it's 84. I want to yeah, go back and, I, and, and I don't want to go further into that now, but the, okay. the fact that two numbers have come out right. with a difference of 30 also indicates that we have an issue here. Some officials used county gas to cover their drive to and from home. Lawyer James Spivey racked up 86 miles a day going to and from Ann Arbor. When press director Paula Bridges had a card, she used 1,100 miles of gas a month just on her daily commute. But, she said, that's not all she did. These activities that we attend to, they're not limited to uh, law enforcement incidents. They are community meetings. They are public meetings where we are requested to be there. Bridges says Sheriff Napoleon wants many officials to have county paid gas because because it means they'll be ready at any given moment if a 9-11 type event ever happens here. That being said, his office told frustrated commissioners that there's still fat to be cut. I can absolutely make a statement that there will probably be changes in a reduction in take-home vehicles. So after all this, what is Sheriff Benny Napoleon saying about these free rides? Well, coming up at 6, we'll talk to him one-on-one. -on -one. I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News.